Population and economic growth have led to a rapidly increasing global demand for energy. To address scarcity and the environmental impact of fossil fuels, extensive research efforts and developments are made towards building a sustainable energy future. Solar is projected to be among the leading sources of renewable energy by 2035. However, commercialized solar technology is not without its own environmental drawbacks. Current solar panels use silicon as their semiconductor. Normal solar panels have an average lifespan of 30 years, and at the end of their lifetime, they are rarely recycled. It is estimated that by 2050, there will be 78 million tons of solar panel waste. Current research into silicon solar technology has brought their maximum efficiency close to 27%, meaning they are approaching their maximum efficiency of around 29%. With the demand for energy rising globally, it's important to continue to create higher efficiency solar panels at a low cost. Solar panels do not produce carbon emissions during their operation. However, their fabrication process produces emissions during the material acquisition, manufacturing, and shipping phases. Silicon used for traditional solar panels must be extremely pure, and thus must be heated to very high temperatures to ensure this high purity. The manufacturing process is highly energy intensive, requiring large inputs of energy to process the silicon into an appropriate state for solar panels. Production of solar panels require a lot of energy, often coming from fossil fuels, meaning the energy used to produce silicon solar panels comes with a high carbon footprint. In addition to its environmental impact, silicon solar panels have limited applications. Traditional solar panels are thick and heavy, which limits their applicability. For example, the weight of these panels often means that they add a significant load to a structure. This means they are almost exclusively applied to roofs or on the ground. Perovskite solar cells are the latest technological breakthrough in the solar energy market. These are a crystalline class of materials, which can be used in a liquid form. Essentially, an engineered combination of perovskite precursors are dissolved in a solvent to form an ink. Perovskite crystals are created when the ink is deposited on a surface and dried out. A very thin layer of ink is deposited onto a substrate, sandwiched between other thin films that enable transfer electricity generated by the perovskite layer. Perovskite can address some of the primary concerns faced by silicon solar cells. Perovskite solar modules are a few millimeters thick, compared to silicon solar modules, which are tens of millimeters thick. The reduction of material required to make solar modules will, by virtue, reduce the waste generated. Furthermore, active research is developing methods to economically disassemble and recycle perovskite solar panels. This would mean the materials used to fabricate solar panels could be reused in new panels, overall reducing the amount and number of materials that make it to the landfill. Meanwhile, silicon recycling is an inefficient and complex process. Improved recycling requires wholesale change to the entire production process. Perovskites have made great leaps in efficiency in the last 12 years. In 2009, perovskite solar cells were first created with an efficiency of only 3.8%. Since then, in only 12 years, the efficiency has increased to over 25% and rising. This means more power could be produced compared to traditional solar panels, allowing us to meet higher energy needs with clean, renewable energy. Compared to silicon, solar panels made with perovskite require much less energy and raw materials in their fabrication process. The fabrication of perovskite solar cells is relatively simple meaning they could be fabricated all over the world. Overall, the production of silicon solar panels generally have a carbon cost of about 25 grams of CO2 equivalents per kilowatt hour, while recent estimates suggest perovskites would only cost 11 grams of CO2 equivalent kilowatt hours. Let's put that into context. In the USA, an average home consumes about 10,000 kilowatt hours. The energy is produced using coal. Coal CO2 equivalent kilowatt hours is 1,000 grams, which means it produces 10,000 kilograms of CO2 emissions. Meanwhile, fabrication of silicon solar panels to meet the same amount of energy produces 250 kilograms of CO2 compared with just 110 kilograms for perovskite. Perovskite layers are thin and flexible and can be deposited on flexible materials. This opens up a whole new market for solar panels. Imagine solar panels so thin and flexible that they can take the shape of whatever surface they are on. These panels could easily adopt the curve of the roof of a car or be used on the siding of a building. Perovskite offers a photovoltaic technology that has the potential to be more efficient, less wasteful, 
emit fewer greenhouse gases and open up more applications than traditional silicone solar technology. At Solaires, our mission is to make solar energy more accessible by developing photovoltaic solutions that will minimize our collective environmental footprint. We are working to create a new generation of solar cells that use perovskite instead of silicon as the semiconductor material in solar panels. Solaire's vision is to employ a circular economy model that will enable us to use recycled materials in our manufacturing process and ensure that our final product is also recyclable. Our perovskite solar technology will be double green, both serving as a source of renewable energy generation and is reused after their life cycle ends. We are creating solutions to increase the stability and energy conversion efficiency of perovskite solar cells without relying on integration of other technologies. Basic science discoveries, intellectual property, and knowledge from our research could lead to new nanotechnology innovations that can increase the power generation of solar cells. We will project Canada into becoming a clean and green energy superpower. Solaires is innovating photovoltaic technology for a cleaner world.